And it's yet again time for the challenge round. Of course, I'll be picking two bodybuilders that both competed somewhere around the same time. As to keep it fair with the uh, performance enhancing vitamins. Anyway, I also prefer that these two bodybuilders never really met both in their prime. As to keep it more interesting. So without further ado, let's see who is picked for the challenge round. Welcome to the challenge round. The first competitor, standing 5 feet 9 inches, weighing 250 pounds, Chris Cormier. And his opponent, standing 5 feet 9 inches, weighing in at 245 pounds, Victor. Martinez! And we begin with the front relaxed pose. Both guys, of course, look fantastic in the front relaxed. Now, to me, right away, I have to say, I like the, the structure of Chris Cormier a little bit better. Even though I must say, uh, Victor's abs are definitely scoring ahead as well as his arms, in particular the bicep and the, even the tricep region, much larger. But having said that, I, I just like how Chris's chest looks much larger. Not quite as striated as Victor Martinez's, but just looks fuller. And I think the reason why I'm going to give Cormier this one is his overall lag development, I think, is just destroying Martinez here. So, Chris Cormier scores the first victory in the front relaxed. Here's the first pose, front lat spread. And right away, again, I have to say, Chris Cormier, his structure, I believe, is uh, just a little bit better. A smaller waist, it seems. And uh, I believe that he's actually scoring ahead in the arm department this time. And as striated as Victor's chest is, I just find uh, Cormier's is much more full. And again, in the lag department, Cormier, it's, it's surprising to me. He's just destroying Martinez. As good as Martinez's legs are, Cormier, I'm, I'm just surprised at his overall lag development here. And speaking of legs... I notice these two, genetically speaking, their legs are pretty much identical. If you really uh, look at it, Victor's look like a, a less conditioned version of Chris Cormier's. Anyway, on with the poses. This, of course, the side chest pose. And it looks like Martinez is going to score his first victory in this uh, contest. Structurally speaking, Martinez is far superior here. Uh, the arms make uh, much more of a difference in this pose than in the other, especially the uh, the tricep region. Martinez is uh, just dwarfing uh, Cormier here. And in the chest department, Martinez's chest actually uh, looks the fuller of the two this time. And as large as Cormier's legs look here, I think Martinez looks a little more uh, dry and striated in the leg department. And of course, having the better calves, at least in this in this shot, I think uh, Victor Martinez definitely 
has this victory well in hand. In the ab department, uh, Victor's uh, visible abs definitely give him a little bit of edge there. Well, Cormier has a smaller waist, I think. Hard to say. So, on with the poses. And here we have the classic side tricep pose. And it's funny to me how from the front, and Cormier has the better lag development. And turn him from the side, and Martinez seems to have the more striated uh, thighs. And overall structure again, I think uh, Martinez from the side just looks fuller in the chest region. I think in the tricep, uh, definitely larger in the tricep region as well. Although Cormier looks pretty good. Uh, there's uh, some cross striations in the tricep, I believe. In the waist, I, I like Cormier's waist a little bit better in this shot. Although I will say Martinez has the uh, edge in the uh, oblique department. But overall, um, uh, I'm definitely going to go with uh, Victor Martinez in this one. Also, the, uh, the shoulder department, Martinez, is definitely scoring ahead. So, another one for Martinez. So, on with the poses. Here in the front double bicep, and things get a little bit more difficult to judge. Now, definitely, if I cover the legs up, as much as I appreciate a good vacuum, I have to say Victor Martinez is definitely scoring a victory. I, uh, as I said, I definitely appreciate the vacuum, but Martinez's abs are just a work of art. And uh, the pose is called a front double bicep. And Martinez's biceps two massive softballs. But having said that, if I go and cover up the their upper bodies in the lag department, I just have to say Cormier is, is just destroying Martinez equally as Martinez was destroying Cormier in the upper body. So it really depends on... Uh, what's more important in this pose and it's my opinion uh, definitely the, the having the edge in the bicep region scores just a slight victory over mm -hmm. Cormier but having said that this is a very 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 close decision so on with the poses as we turn these guys around and have a look at the backs it's uh, it's strange to me once again the uh, switch in the superiority in the lag development. Now Victor Martinez seems to be scoring way ahead of Cormier in the lag department, but of course uh, the lats. I believe Cormier is a little bit more cut up, a little bit more detailed. But of course the size of Martinez's lats are impressive here as well as the, the width of Martinez's traps are very impressive. But in the trap department, uh, personally, I would uh, give it to Cormier. They uh, seem to be a little bit more developed and reach down a little bit lower. Oh, there would be an argument to say Martinez has them in the size department. But uh, I believe Cormier's lats are much more low as well. But to me, it's a little too close in the upper body, and I think Martinez is, is, is pretty much dominating Cormier in the lower end here. In particular, in the glutes here, uh, extremely narrow set of glutes on Cormier in this pose anyway. So, let's have a look at uh, some more back shots. Here in the rear double bicep, and I'm going to have to go with Martinez in this one. I will say right away, Cormier definitely has uh, better shoulders, which is very visible in this shot. But I must say, Martinez's traps are scoring a little bit of a victory here. I, I will say Cormier's traps are a little bit harder and grainier looking, but just uh, Martinez's traps are massive. 
And I will say I do personally like the lat development of Cormier a little bit better. How they uh, they do uh, reach down a little bit lower. But having said that, Martinez's lats are much larger and wider and spread out much farther. And the lower back, as I said, Cormier has a much lower lats. But I believe Martinez's Christmas tree is a little bit more visible here. And once again, in the glute department, I think we really discovered the one weakness of Chris Cormier. He uh, definitely has nothing against uh, Martinez's world-class set of glutes here. And as fantastic as uh, Cormier's hamstrings are, which I believe they're scoring a little bit of a victory here, just the outside sweep of Martinez's thighs here, I think, overall gives him the victory in the lag department. So Martinez scrapes, scrapes another victory out here, and uh, another back shot. Now, here in the rear lat spread, and up until now, I think Martinez's glute development was scraping him out victories in all of the back shots. But I think Cormier with his just tremendously uh, overwhelming lats, how low they insert into the lower back here. And his traps, like time after time, I will say Martinez's traps are, are larger, but if you really look at them here, I think Cormier's his traps are much more thicker and uh, meatier, much more uh, thickness. And I, as I said, uh, the overwhelming lats here and the arm development as well. I just don't think uh, Victor Martinez's glute development is going to be enough to score him a victory. So we're going to go with Cormier in the rear lat spread. And with that being the last pose, if you've been keeping score at home, then you'll know that your winner is Victor Martinez. Victor Martinez scores a victory with a score of 5-3. to three. Uh, Of course, it was close there in the front double bicep, so in my opinion, it was more like 4-3. to three. But if it had been a tiebreaker, we would have perhaps had to go with a couple more poses. But Victor Martinez had this uh, victory well in hand. Although, big, uh, big hand to uh, Chris Cormier for making this an interesting battle. So there you have it. Victor Martinez becomes the third ever Mark's Max Muscle Challenge Round Champion. Well, that about does it for that one. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any ideas for my next challenge round. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.